Hello YouTube, this is Captain Darren. In today's video log, we're going to lay down the 75 feet of RG213 and also install the ground plate and pound down four grounding rods. Here are some of the uh, grounding rods and uh, the grounding plate. I bought this one off of eBay. It's pretty nice. I forget the cost, but uh, I'll look it up and I'll post it in the link below in the description if you're interested. All right, so I tied off the coax there. So as I'm digging, to not pull all the slack. So I have enough slack to install to the feed point of the un unmatching transformer. There's the inch and a half mask. That's about maybe just a little over three feet deep and about uh, a foot and a half above the ground. So on the previous video, I'll list it above the link there. Uh, as I was digging the hole for the antenna base, there was huge boulders, so wish me luck as I drive these four grounding rods in that I don't strike any rocks to make life easier. All right, I have safety gloves, safety goggles, the sides. And I'm gonna put these grounding rods about within a foot from each corner. Maybe I need you to stay over here. Sit down there. Because I'm going to put a bonding strap again, like how I did on my previous video on my 43 foot 05 antenna installation. We got a lot of rocks here. I just hit a rock and I think I just bust right through it. All right, this is what I got. I got four grounding rods pounded in. This one right here, I can't pound it anymore. So that's the best I can do. And same goes with that one at that corner. So I got four installed right now. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay down the 75 feet of RG213. I'm gonna run it along the, the walls of the uh, garden so that when I lay the ground radials, I don't cross over the coax cable and actually cut it. Here's my plan. Coming out of the junction box, route the coax along the wall, around there. And I'm gonna start digging from here and loop it right to the base of the antenna. That's 75 feet worth.
This is the current setup. I made a lot of progress. I got the tilting mechanism attached to the base and the un, -un is attached to the antenna. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do another unboxing. Actually, I shipped it from Florida. I took it with me uh, on the airplane as check luggage. We're gonna unbox my elements and respray paint the areas. It's already clean, I cleaned it in Florida. So then I'm gonna attach it and put it on the antenna base. There it is, my elements still intact, in good condition. You notice when I disassemble it, there's a mark already there. So I remarked it so when I reassemble it, it's, it's easy to put back together. Pretty cool. I'm having fun working on this 05 antenna. Very easy to work with. So, all the elements that are installed, I repainted the areas such as here at the joints where there was bare metal when I was cleaning it. I didn't have any more footstools, so I used my little baby's porta potty. And here's the tip right here. 
it clears the entrance way to the back of the yard. I got a few more things to, to assemble. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the antenna up. I'm going to attach the coax. I need to have four ground attached to the ground plate. And uh, after that, I'm done. Here we are, the final product. I transported my 05 27 foot HOA antenna to my new location. I actually have two places and the uh, first UTH has the 43 foot and the second one has the 27 foot. It is finished. Well, not quite. I still have to hook up all the ground radials. But for now, this will do. I have four grounding rods attached to the base. Well, that's it. With the exception of adding some of those ground radials. So I have a zero five antenna at my second QTH. If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up on that, and leave me a comment. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. If you're wondering what kind of hat this is, it's a pineapple. It's a pineapple hat. Anyways, have a great day. Talk to you next time.